Hello there, and welcome back to Gavin's Doesn't Know What The Fuck He's Doing fucking workshop. So I got a couple of comments again asking if I could be a bit more in depth in the review of this Parkside 20 volt team battery powered circular saw. Just get fucking dust in my bastard eyes. Oh, it hurts like sand, you fuck. Oh, I'm going to be feeling that for days. Don't hold up a fucking circular saw above your face, or at the very least, wear protection. I'm not talking about condoms, I'm talking about some fuck me that hurts, some fucking goggles, man. Jesus, right. So, the Parkside 20 volt team circular saw, I'm very impressed with the quality of it. I think it is fucking excellent. Again, though, the laser on it is pretty ski with, but it does the job, it gets you there. Just don't follow it all the way along. Uh, if you want to see just how good this is though, I noticed something interesting yesterday. The Metabo, Metabo was a very good German brand. Circular saw of this size has a lot of very strong similarities. Not just the motor size, but a lot of the other parts on here looked almost identical. So anyway, she is the, uh, she is, he is, er is, uh, this is the PHKSA20 A2 model. Um, with a retractable fucking don't cut your finger off protector. It comes with a Parkside blade, which is apparently made in the uh, in good old Germany, actually. I see here it says German on it. Quality of the blade itself is fairly decent. I've got no issues with the blade at all. It seems to be cutting through everything like butter. We've got a non-fully charged 20 volt battery on here. Um, this is a four amper, but as you can see here, it's not fully charged. Um, the base on it is plastic, as you can hear. The surround on it is plastic, as you can hear. Basically, every single thing on this is plastic, other than the hinge for the uh, 45 degree angle on it, which you can do there, but it does mean you're reducing your cutting depth down to probably about three or four centimeters at the most there. Um, you've also got a depth stop at the back here, which is great. Again, that's about the only other metal part on it other than the blade. She's a nice wee device. I'm really, really, really happy with the quality of it. You can obviously also run it with a Hoover and it comes with an adapter at the back as well for that. Um, as I said, the laser is not brilliant, but it does do the job. I've used it for doing quite a lot of stuff already. It's came in a lot more handy than I was expecting it to. I was expecting it to be fucking worthless, man. Um, but. I will give you a quick demonstration. Hold on. So let's just do a quick cut along here. I'm sure you can see that just fine. We are not proceed. Uh, we are not looking for precision engineering here. I'm just looking for a rough cut. So there we go, and unfortunately this is about the maximum depth you're going to get there. It's 24 and 24, so it's uh, 48 millimetres maximum depth that you're going to get on it. And I just, just went through that there, no problem at all. Fairly reasonable cut. I'm not aiming for perfection here. Did the job though, cut through the lot of aim easy with not even a fully charged battery. Let's just very quickly go to the other side here and just show you that I can get through another one with this not completely charged battery just to show you that it's not completely weak again doing exactly the same process here at the back let's put the laser on for the light show effect this time you get to see just how shite the laser actually is
right, he's getting flat. She get me across the finishing line. Oh! Just got across the finishing line. No more there. Pushed it a wee bit too hard at the ending. It's a split ends, but again, reasonable cut there. I don't think that's a bad cut at all, considering it's a fucking thirty nine euro without the battery plus blade saw which seems to be either a rip-off of a uh, Metabo or the Metabo was ripping part side off. I actually think Metabo might very well be ripping off a park side saw. No jet, no fucking shit, man. Go to your local DIY centre and check out the Metabo shit. Compare it to this here, I think Metabo is copying park side. Legit, legit. So anyway, there we go. Nice wee cut on there. Um, as I said, the battery was pretty damn flat ready. I did three cuts the same yesterday with the same battery. So you're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six cuts pretty much of that length. That there is 90 centimetres wide. So whatever you want to call that, you're going to get almost six metres of cut, five and a half metres of cut pretty much um, from a fairly charged four amp battery, which might not seem a lot, but considering what it's for, I would say that was pretty damn good. Anyway, that there is my very quick, I am busting for a fucking slash uh, review again of this uh, wee Parkside number here, man. Um, yeah, run out and buy it. It's got to be back in the old Aldi boat. Fuck it, Aldi top shit. They don't get any good in Aldi these days. Uh, it's got to be back in, oh, and back in the fucking Lidl again shortly. And, uh, I would say it was definitely worth buying. I'm sure you could probably calibrate that laser a wee bit somehow, man, with some magic. A wee bit of fiddling about with a screwdriver. It does look like there is a couple of wee bits inside. You can go do 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 do. Fucking turn it up a bit, straighten up and that, right? But you don't really need it. You just need to get that right on the point where you're cutting and that's it. Um, aye, aye, there we go. Hope you have a good you. Ciao, till the next video on that, man.